Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. That's right, today we are making UFOs. Please do not tell the government, I do not want them shooting this one down again. So let's go ahead and get started with UFO and your name, UFO and Adrian. So this one is actually not that hard. As you can see, it's actually pretty, pretty cool because it spins and everything. I'm assuming you know some of these shortcuts, but if you don't, we're going to be using group, which is, you know, right now it's ungroup, but it, if you select an object, group is that one, and you can just hit control G. I'm going to be using align tool, which I'm going to be pressing the letter L, but you can also click this button here. I'm going to be using that a lot, as well as the mirror tool. I'll be using that towards the end mirror tool, which is just the letter M. Very useful tools. I like the shortcuts because it just makes it go faster. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with the cylinder. Now, I have one thing going on today that uh, I'm not sure why it's happening, but it's happening. I'm trying to move this with my mouse. Oh my goodness, now it's working earlier today, like a minute ago, I could not move this with my mouse. And there's a chance that later on it won't work. I don't know, I'll just figure, out, figure a, a way around that. So whenever I get a cylinder, first thing I do is I change the sides there because I want it to be as smooth as possible, especially with a spinner. You want this to be as smooth as possible. I'm going to change this to 40 by 40. I'm going to click in there, click one time and 40. All right, we're good. So after that, we want the, from the shape library, we want to go to shape generators right there at the bottom and hyperboloid. It's this one right here. I'm just waiting for the computer to show up and there we go. This is the one we want. And just like the cylinder, what we want to do is change the sides to max because again, with the spinner, you want it to be as smooth as possible. Now, another thing we want to do with this is we want to change, well, let's just go ahead and with this one here, I'm going to duplicate this. One. So control D, duplicate. That's another one of my shortcuts that I like to do with the keyboard, control D. Again, you can do that. And it even says it right there in the green, you know, control D. So I'm gonna change this to a hole, which you can just press the letter H or you can click here. There it is. I'm gonna move these two together and it looks like it's centered, but I don't know. I'm going to align it. I'm gonna click the letter L and click here in the front and there. I could click here, but it's not gonna do anything. Okay, great. It's aligned. I'm gonna group these two, control G. Did that work? Yeah, it's turning red. It's a good sign that it's working. All right. We have, let me show you what it looks like on the inside. That's what it looks like now, all right? Exactly what we want. Now, we're gonna be playing with the second hyperboloid, and this is very important. Pay attention to these steps because this is where you're gonna mess up and it's not gonna spin if you don't do this part exactly how I say. So, I'm gonna hit Shift, and I'm gonna hold Shift while I move this down to 17. Ready, look, I'm holding Shift, and I'm, I'm not choosing any one at the bottom, choosing the very center shift, and I'm gonna go down to 17. Nice, right? Now, very important that you click away right now. I had it click, blah, 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 I click away. Very important that you do that. If you don't click away, it's gonna change your dimensions when you're gonna do the next step. So you clicked away, nothing's highlighted. Now you go back, you click on this, and you just change this to 20, do not, do not hit, uh, the hold button, or the, I'm sorry, do not hold the shift button. You just wanna click 20, click there and click and type in 20. That's gonna give you a skinnier and taller um, shape here. That way nothing is touching. In fact, after I'll, I align these two again, I'm gonna click the letter L here and here. As you can see, nothing is touching. That's exactly what we want because otherwise it will not spin. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the to the shape library. We're gonna go to basic shapes. And now we're gonna be going to the half sphere. This one we're gonna to change to 17 by 17. So 17 there, 17 there. Oh, enter. All right, now we're gonna be using a tool that we, we don't use that often. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna move this uh, move this up. 
and get it, you know, close to here, but not exactly because here's the thing right now it looks cool, right? It looks like, oh yeah, we're all, you can just put it there and we're good. Well, not exactly because if you look carefully, it's not even touching. And I don't want to really like take time to do this. So here's what I'm gonna do. It's a little bit of a shortcut. I'm going to, I'm going to click on this one. It says work plane tool. Now this right here technically is the work plane, the blue lines. That's the work plane. But if I click on here, I'm going to make this the work plane. Now, why would I want to do that? See, the reason is because I want this to go to the very, I wanted to touch the work plane. And since I just made this the work plane, the top of this um, paraboloid or no, no, hyperboloid. Now, when I click the letter D, it's exactly on there. I don't have to guess as to where it is. It's on there. Now to get it back to normal, I'm going to click on the work plane and make the work plane the work plane. Okay, now I'm going to select everything, click the letter L, and again, just like before, it's aligned. Great. Pretty easy, right? No problem. We're almost there. So now that we're finished with the shape library, we're going to do this one thing right here. I'm going to select the cylinder. Ooh, you know what? I forgot a step. So hopefully this doesn't mess everything up. Maybe, you know, you've done this before. I actually wanted to change this part, the edge, to be a little bit beveled. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to undo this part right here. Okay, this is what I want. I want, I clicked away, and I'm going to click on here. I want the bevel to be 2.5, 2.5, and there it is. Now, my computer might do it very quickly. Yours might take a little bit of time. <clears throat> this bevel gives it the shape right here, right there. <coughs> Excuse me, and it looks great. So very carefully. Now I'm going to click on this little edge and then I'm going to click on the cylinder and I'm going to group it. Control G. Okay. Any sec there it is. Great. Okay. We're almost done here, people. We're almost done. It, essentially, we're going to be doing some details. Now for me, I'm going to get the torus. I'm going to go to the shape li library, go to the basic shape, and I'm going to go to the torus. Now here's what I'm going to do. First of all, Max the sides, of course. Max the sides, always. Now, I'm going to change this to 56. Whoa. Let's zoom out a little bit. And 56. And the height is going to be 15. Now, luckily, I'm not going to spend that much time trying to align it because we have the special align tool. Click the letter L. Looks like it's perfectly aligned there. That's awesome. And then I'm going to click there. We're good to go, right? We're done with that. Now, here's the next thing. I'm going to be going to the tube. Now, why do I need this tube? Do you see the tube anywhere here? No, you don't. But I need you to pay attention to this because here's the thing. If you look under here, there's a little bit of a gap. See where I beveled this right here? And when it prints, trust me, I've done it. When it prints without this tube, it, it comes out... Um, not very well. Let's just say that. It doesn't come out very well. So we're going to change this tube and we're going to fix that part. So this one I'm going to change to the bottoms to 41, 41, enter. And then here, 41, enter. I am going to change the wall thickness. Oh, I forgot to you know maximize the sides because making it smooth is awesome. I'm going to change the height to 11. I know it's just a little bit, but I'm okay with that. And the wall thickness, it's this one right here. I'm going to click on the number and then change it to four. That's what I want. And guess which tool I'm going to use to make this align? Hmm, I wonder. It's the align tool. I'm going to click the letter L and align this here and there. And let's, let's look underneath. That's exactly what I want. As long as this part right here is clear and this one right here is <coughs> covered that empty space, we're good to go. Let's move on to the decorating part. Now, for you, if you don't want to make a, a UFO that looks like everybody else's, why don't you try a different shape? Like you could use this one and you could make it also, what number did I use for this? 56 by uh, 56. And then you could also bevel it. I don't know, four. Let's try that. You could use that and do the same exact thing. Of course, you would have to make, make sure that this hole stays there, right? Because if you don't have that hole, it's not spinning. But 
this one also could be like a UFO, like was, you know, one that was shot down recently. I think they said it was uh, octagonal, octagonal, meaning eight sides. Anyways, you could decorate it that way or change the outside. Up to you. Make it special. Make it yours. I'm going to show you how to make this one. But again, if you don't like the, the half spheres I'm about to use, uh, you can do any other shapes there if you want. Just make it yours. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to make this 11 by 11. Enter. 11. Enter. And the height. I believe the max height. Am I looking at the wrong? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. But still, okay, that, that still applies. I'm going to make this 5.5. 5.5. 5. All right, now I'm going to rotate this. Uh, let me get this angle because I want to see this better. I'm going to go uh, right there to 90. Now, I don't want to just play with this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the very... Now, check this out. Please be careful with this, okay? This is a warning. Click near the bottom and then hit Shift and click on this. I'm not going to use the align tool like I did before. I'm, I am going to use it, but differently. I'm going to click the letter L. Check this out. I want you to click on the torus, the donut. Now align it only from here because we only care about this part right here. If I were to click it here, it would be at the center. I don't want it at the center. Here's the other thing I want you to click on. This one right there. Let me drag it so you can see it better. This one is going to put it right in the center of the torus shape. So exactly what I want. But you can't just say, hey, this is great. I'm just going to do more and more of these. No, you can't because you have to check to see if it's actually touching. And in this case, it's touching very little. So now we have to adjust. Let me uh, put this at the center of the screen by clicking that and then moving forward or backwards. So in this case, I hate moving this with the mouse. I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard. And it looks like it's good up here, which means it should be also good down here. And yeah, we're good to go. Now this is where we cheat a little bit because what we're going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to use, I hit control D by the way, I'm going to use the mirror tool, which is the letter M. And I want it to go in that direction. I want to change in that direction. So I click on here. Great. Now I'm not just going to move this with the mouse because I want it to be exactly perfect. And the, the mouse might introduce some variation when I move it. So I'm going to use, I'm going to hit the shift button, shift and hold, right? Sh hold the shift button. And then I'm going to use the arrow key to make it go faster over there. Okay. So I'm going to look over here. Okay. So too much. I'm going to, I'm going to let go of the shift button and I'm just going to move it with the arrow key. Okay. It looks like a little bit is sticking out right there and I am right. I'm going to adjust this to point 0.1 so it's easier. That's the snap grid at the bottom. Okay, it is fully covered now. Now, this is where I get to use my little cheat code with with uh, Tinkercad. I'm going to This one's already selected. I'm going to select this one now by holding shift and then clicking on this. I'm going to duplicate this and now I'm going to rotate it. Good. Mind you, I, I, wanted the top, I wanted the top view and then the focus. The reason I did that is because I wanted to find this one right here. Now, I'm going to go to 45. Didn't do anything else. Didn't click anywhere else. I'm going to hit the control D. It didn't do it this time. Fine. I'm going to do again, 45, 45, did it. I'm going to hit control D. It didn't do it this time. Sometimes it does it, it for you and you don't have to worry about it. So there we go. We have this part. We're good. Now, the next part is decorative as well. You can change um, what kind of shape you use. For me, I'm going to be using the sphere. And then I'm going to change the dimensions. Again, I'm going to maximize the steps because I want it to be as smooth as possible. And I'm going to change this to 2 by 2. And this one's going to be 5. Like a little pill. That's what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go straight up. And there we go. Now, this should be 60 degrees. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It should say 60 should work here. Oh, I think I should do negative 60. Negative 60 brings me to the top. Okay, that's what I want right there. So I'm going to go hover over this. And then I'm going to bring it down right there. Now, very important. You don't want this just to touch a little bit because it, it'll fail when it prints right here. You want it to be about halfway in. 
That way you don't need any supports for this thing and you don't want supports with something that's gonna spin. Now right there, it looks like it's perfectly aligned. I don't know, but what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna select everything now because <clears throat> these things right here have not been a group. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna click on the cylinder. I'm gonna hit shift and then click on the sphere. Now those two are selected. I'm gonna click the, the L aligned there and aligned there. Oh, my mistake. I just wanted it here. I don't know. My bad. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to duplicate, 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 control D. Use the mirror tool with the letter M. I want it to go. It's hard to tell which direction. Oh, there you go. I want that direction. I want it to go over here. Now I'm going to hit shift. I'm going to shift, hold shift, Right there, I'm holding the shift button and I'm gonna use the arrow key to move it to the other side. And I'm gonna guess it's where it is, where it's supposed to be, and I am wrong. Okay, I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna click the letter F, which does the same thing as this right here. I think I need to move it just one more time. Let me take a look at how it looks on the other side to see how much it looks like that one. There's a little bit of space here. Right, I'm not sure if you can see that. A little bit of space here, I'm gonna rotate it. And I think this one has less space, so I'm gonna move it forward. Okay, I'm okay with that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. Hopefully it works. This one is already selected. I'm gonna hold the shift button, click on that, and then I'm gonna duplicate. I'm gonna rotate. You don't have to do 45 this time. I'm doing 22.5. Then I'm gonna duplicate and do another 22.5 after that, and then duplicate another 22.5. Sometimes um, Tinkercad will do this for you, but in my case, I think it might be mad at me. I think the government might be taking control because it knows what I'm doing. I know, I'm bad, I can't help it. All right, there you go. Oh, uh, right. There, is it? Yeah, that looks good. All right, so at this point, we're done. Now, if you wanted to use a different uh, different shapes here, feel free to decorate it because you don't want your UFO to look like everybody else's UFO. You want to confuse the government. Go ahead and raise your hand if you too think you want to confuse the government. Let me know. And uh, I am glad you stuck by here. And uh, feel free to subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with more awesome stuff that are that is sure to get you in trouble. All right, have a good day.